morning, falling into fall. What exactly is the best flower for fall? Chrysanthemums. I spoke with South Texas gardener Gabriel Vega, who shows us when and how to plant and care for these flowers in our area. Gabe, we're talking about mums, and obviously it is the season, or it'll be near the season when you're going to be wanting the mums. That's correct. Fall is mum season. Um, you know, it's it's one of the few uh, blooming and thriving uh, ornamentals that we have during during uh, this time during October, uh, and. Uh, for good reason, you know, they, they also happen to be, you know, these attractive yellows and, and reds and burgundies, you know, these fall colors that we that we often associate with the season. Um, and right now they are plentiful. They are everywhere uh, in all nurseries um, and even big box stores. I recommend nurseries because they usually have uh, larger selections and um, they can really help you as to determine where you're going to want to put these mums depending on how many blooms they have. A lot of people don't uh, consider, you know, uh, uh, the bloom, which, like in which state the bloom or the flower is and how long that will last. So most people that, that are going to go shopping for mums, you know, we see the flowers uh, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that pop of color, pop of, 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 of fall color in our, in our landscape. Um, but there's a few things to take note of. So... If you're going to pick up a mum and you're going to put this in like a full sun area, right, then, then ideally, you know, most people are going to want to have these blooms showing for as long as possible. So if you are going to a full sun area or a place that experiences at least five to six hours of daylight uh, regularly, and it's typically better, especially for the South Texas, uh, to get that morning light because during the afternoon, Sometimes our temperatures can tend to skyrocket, uh, even in October, right? We, we get some crazy temperatures. But what will happen is that will uh, reduce the lifespan of, of, of your blooms. So the cooler uh, early morning daylight is going to be ideal for these things, for them to last the time. So I recommend watering this every day, making sure that whatever you have this potted into, if you want to repot it, that that soil media drains water away very quickly and very easily, and then you will have a much healthier mum plant for the season. One last question for you. Uh, do you Can you start mums from scratch, or do you really need to buy them already grown? Oh, yeah, no, you can absolutely start them from scratch. There's a, there's a lot of success with starting from seed um, and making clones from them, cuttings, and then kind of developing more stock from that thing. As a matter of fact, that's how... Most of these plants are made. A lot of these plants that are sitting next to each other are actually clones of one another, so they have the exact same uh, genetic blueprint. Um, it just takes long. Right now, if you wanted to get to enjoying those blooms for the fall season, that's not something you'd want to do, but it is. it absolutely can be done from seed. If you did that, you'd want to, and you wanted some kind of outdoor arrangement, you'd have to plant them during the spring. Um, I'd avoid planting these guys during the fall just because they don't have the soil temperature, and especially when they're in bloom. When they're in bloom like this, they're not going to set a very good amount of root because that's not where the energy is being directed to. The energy is being directed to pollinization. So, Great. you know, if you wanted to plant these in the dirt, you're, uh, you know, wait till spring or, or you're, you're a little late on that, but you can still enjoy them for the season. Gabriel, thank you so much. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much, Brian. Take care. Of course, you can catch the South Texas Gardener every Saturday morning here on 3 News First Edition Weekend.